if a couple copulate during the wife's fertile period, fertilization can take place. Sperm will travel towards the oviduct, and the lucky ones may encounter the egg. The acrosome, which is an enzyme found at the tip of the head of the sperm, will break down part of the egg membrane. Only the nucleus of one sperm will be able to enter and fuse with the nucleus of the egg, forming a zygote. This is due to the development of a membrane that prevents other sperm from entering. Once a zygote is formed, it will enter the stage of early fetal development. After fertilization, the zygote will divide by mitosis to form a ball of cells known as an embryo. Peristaltic movements of the oviduct and cilia will sweep the embryo towards the uterus. Implantation of the embryo will occur after two days as it becomes embedded into the wall of the uterus. The placenta will soon form after implantation. It is like a bloody pillow and its function is to allow the exchange of nutrients and metabolic waste. Oxygen, glucose, amino acids, and mineral salts will diffuse into the fetal blood capillaries, while waste such as urea and carbon dioxide will diffuse into the mother's tissues. The placenta also allows antibodies from the mother to diffuse into the fetal blood, which protects the fetus against certain diseases. It is also responsible for producing progesterone, which helps to maintain the uterine lining. Attached to the placenta is the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta. It consists of one vein that transports oxygenated blood and nutrients from the placenta to the fetus, and two arteries that transport deoxygenated blood and waste away from the fetus. The contents of these vessels are similar to those in the pulmonary vein and arteries respectively, since oxygen for the fetus's heart is supplied by the placenta, similar to how the lungs supply oxygen to our heart. The entire fetus is housed within the amniotic sac, the amniotic sac develops at the same time as the placenta. The fluid within the sac is known as amniotic fluid. As a liquid, it provides cushioning for the fetus, acting as a shock absorber. The fetus can also move around in it, promoting muscle development. During childbirth, the amniotic sac will break, and the liquid will make the birth canal wet, providing lubrication during birth. 